Can you please state your name for the record? Sergeant Robert Barteski, Division 51. And what is your relation to the case against Ms. Deirdre Bloom, also known as the Image Killer? Rephrase. I'm, I'm the lead investigator on the Image Killer case. I made the arrest of Miss Bloom outside the home of her final victim. Allegedly her final victim. Are you referring to Mr. Lawrence, also known as Ben Robinson? Uh, yes, that is correct. If I may. When did you and Mr. Lawrence begin working together? Oh, we didn't... We didn't work together, per se. But it was Mr. Lawrence's information that led you to arrest Miss Bloom. Yes, that is correct, but for the record, we were close to making an arrest, and it was only Mr. Lawrence's information that put the final nail in the coffin. Right, right, but you were the one leaking coroner's reports to Mr. Lawrence, were you not? How the hell do you know that? Just confirm or deny, Sergeant. Sergeant, confirm or deny. Yes. Was Mr. Lawrence aware of this fact? No. We were attempting to cultivate an asset that could be used in drastic measures. Did you like working with Mr. Lawrence? He had direct communication with the image killer, and we were attempting to cultivate that. Look, ideally, if I'm being honest here, we would have brought Ben, Mr. Lawrence, and all of his followers up on obstruction charges for the way they continually interfered with the case. Now, did you have authorization to release the coroner's reports in the first place? Look, ideally, if he had have listened to me, we would have caught the image killer months did ago. Did you have authorization? But he didn't Adrian? listen to me. Yes or no? No. Was Miss Bloom a suspect before? or after you received the information from Clark Lawrence? Yes, she was a person of interest. She fit the profile, along with several other suspects we had under surveillance at the time. But like I said before, it was Mr. Lawrence's information that tipped the scales. What exactly was your role in apprehending Deirdre Bloom? After receiving Mr. Lawrence's tip, I decided to contact him by phone. When he didn't respond, I decided to reach out to him in person and went to his apartment. As I approached his apartment, I noticed Miss Bloom, and as I got closer to the apartment, she bolted. Miss Bloom was arrested on foot approximately two blocks away from Mr. Lawrence's residence, and following the arrest, I sent two officers to check on Mr. Lawrence's residence to find it vacant. Would you say it's possible my client, Miss Bloom, you know, could have simply been visiting a friend or a family member in the same building? Right. Yes or no? Yes, Thank but unlike you. anyone who was visiting Thank somebody... You. I want to backtrack a moment here, if that's alright with everyone. Um, where was Mr. Lawrence's body? What if the two of them were just working together? This isn't the place for speculation. Okay, but if what you're saying is true, what makes you think that she is the image killer and not just some sort of accomplice? Deidre Bloom is the image killer. She had no alibi for any of the other murders. She had no evidence or reason to be outside of Mr. Lawrence's home that evening. She fits the profile. She is the killer, but there is no doubt in my mind that she also had help. Yeah, okay, thanks, Sergeant. Let's wrap this up. Will that be all? No, 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 let's take a short break here.